I've already shuffled and I'll also be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present, how they see you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Taurus. In the recent past, we have Patience. And on the flip side of this card that says Patience, it reads, Trust in divine timing. Your future holds something far greater than your past. This card is really pretty. There's a lady, she's walking, looks like she's walk, about to walk right into the, some type of huge ocean. It just, it's so pretty. Um, it's a very tiny picture of her, but it's about letting go. It's about letting go of your past. Because the future holds this ocean, this everything for you, the huge, it holds a huge land. It holds abundance for you. That's what this card is saying. It's so pretty. I wish you could uh, see it better or I hope you could see it. But it's about, like I said, letting go of the past. And then we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So Taurus, in the recent past, you could have gotten, or you could, you could have um, gotten married, but you needed to release the past before you did that. Because your future was so bright with this, this new connection that you probably got married to or engaged. But you knew before you did that you had to release this past. Now this could go towards another meaning also, these two cards. It could mean that you were supposed to get married and it did not happen. So you had to release this person that you were supposed to get married to, you have to release their energy from you because something happened that caused the the wedding to to um, stop or caused the the connection to um, come to an end or someone had to walk away before the wedding could start. So like I'm saying, there's, could, there could be two stories to this, to these two cards right here. But it's all basically about letting go of your past, because the um, and let and trusting in divine timing, because your future it holds this huge lake, it holds the beauty of abundance, but you just had to let go of the past. Sometimes that can be really hard, and that's what patience is about. So that's for the recent past. Now let's move on over and take a look at the present. You have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. All right, the, the King of Swords, um, it's a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He'll always, but he'll not, uh, he'll often, but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. Also, you could be tempted to only think about how things affect you personally. Kind of selfish, um, especially if this card is not referring to an actual man in your life. So if this is you, you're going to have to consider the feelings of others before you act at this time. This King of Swords is a very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, your thoughts and or your expectations. But try not to overextend your reach. When it's talking about love and relationships, this King of Swords, uh, it could mean uh, that a very strong, forceful, opinionated man could be a part of your scenario. If this man is your partner, your lover, your husband, it means that you're probably going to have to accept him as he is, whether, whether it's male or female. You'll best deal with him by probably drawing on your feminine aspects of your nature. Draw on your feminine qualities. That's kind of a good way to deal with this type of person. Um, but just keep in mind, don't put up with being mistreated. 
This man, he can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and he sometimes oversteps his bounds. So you may also have to protect yourself. Okay, so this King of Swords is paired with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is about a woman. She's one that she should not be trifled with. Or she will not let you trifle with her. She'll often have hair on the dark end of the spectrum. Dark hair, dark eyes. She can point to a need for you to be forceful if this is not a person. Forceful and honest in some situations just to get your needs met. You could need to put your foot down for some type of situation. You may just need to stand tall and sharp because the queen of swords it can indicate that your instincts they're serving you well you already know what it is you need and want now you just have to go after it this queen has a very forceful energy which some people find abrasive when it's talking about love and relationships and you get the queen of swords the only caution is to be to be aware of the impulse to be too forceful you probably heard the saying that you get more uh, you get more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. Well, there's some truth to that. On the other hand, there could be someone, or maybe your mother or mother-like figure, that may want to interfere in your relationship at this time, whether she means to or not. You have to figure out where your boundaries lie with this person and let her know. So, for the present time, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You have a lot of people in this reading. A lot of kings, and yeah, I think you have all the kings and all the queens in the tarot is in this reading, which I found really strange. So, we'll be talking about a lot of people here. So, once again, the present time, Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So... There's someone in your life that's forceful, a man and a woman. Forceful, opinionated, sharp, harsh. The King of Swords is the narcissistic card. So there's someone around you like that. And um, if this is, if you know this is, if you know that there's no people in your life like this, a man and a woman, um, there's going to be a need for you to be kind of narcissistic and sharp and harsh to someone or something just to get your needs met. Very forceful. Both of them. Queen is, is the, she's like the king of swords. They're both swords. So they, they both are not ones to be trifled with. They overstep their bounds. Okay, very, very forceful energy. And if you know that there's no one there like this in your life, could be two people like this coming towards you. Okay, could be someone at work. Uh, could be a relative. Could be your mother, your father. But um, they're either coming in or they're there or this is you. And that's for the present time. Let's move on down and take a look at how the person in that you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Okay, now the Five of Pentacles, it points to a time when life could be feeling less insecure. The important thing to remember is that there is always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could be feeling alone, but just know that you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. You feel being left out in the cold, probably at this time, as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. That's how you could be feeling. Just realize that this is not the case. But do the best you can with what you have. Just remember that the wise thing to do if you need help is to go out and ask for it. 
the help you need will come. Now, when we're talking about love and relationships, and you get this Five of Pentacles, it's not a very particular, it's not a very happy indicator when it comes to love questions. You could have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely. This card can be a card about feeling left out in the cold once again. It's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. When love is right, you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So try, try to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive. So you're seeing the person that you're dealing with, you view them like this, as the Five of Pentacles. You view them as feeling left out in the cold. You view them as thinking that they're the only one that's suffering. You view them as someone who you feel uh, is probably not treating you the way that you would like for them to. That's how you see them. And being that it's paired with the Queen of Cups, now the Queen of Cups is a very positive card in the tarot when it talks about relationships. If you're single, Taurus, and you get this card in a reading, it's a good indicator that you should get out and socialize, mix, mix and mingle, because there's a very, there's a new, very positive romance that could be on the horizon. The thing is. When uh, she appears, it's going to be easy to get up, to get carried away when it comes to love. So you have to keep your balance and your perspective. Because even with the excitement of new love, it's important to keep track of other things going on in your life. So you're, you're seeing your person as this person who's feeling left out in the cold and suffering in some type of way about this connection but you also see them as this queen of cups which is a very compassionate type of person yeah the queen of cups it brings in it's a very nurturing energy it's a very healing and supportive energy so you're s they're seeing you I get the words twisted I'm sorry but I hope I said this before but they see you as you're feeling left out in the cold about this connection you're suffering about this connection for some reason um, but they also see you as very compassionate about this connection So that's how they're seeing you. You're compassionate and very helpful to them in a lot of ways. You're very um, probably supportive and nurturing. And they see you as the connection as it heals them in a lot of ways. But they, for some reason they see you as suffering. And you feel left out in the call about something, maybe it's not the connection because they find you, they see you as very nurturing and you're healing to them. They see you as very supportive to them, but there's some situation that's got you feeling alone. Maybe you feel alone in this connection, um, but that's. They know that. They know that that's how you feel. You feel alone in this connection, or something's got you suffering. But they like you because you're very nurturing, and you're a healing energy for them. But something's got you 
unhappy there. And they know this, so that's how they see you. So let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. Now, to explain the Six of Cups, we probably see the elderly couple on the bench and the children playing in the sand. Well, that's about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. When this Six of Cups is referring to love and relationships, if you are already in a romantic relationship or, a, or if you're in love, this card it indicates that the relationship probably needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams, trying new things. It's, it's important now not to stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this card is going to signify, it does signify the reappearance of a past person, an old lover, an ex, a reappearance of someone you used to be with. So you want to think long and hard before restarting an old romance because we all know exes are exes for a reason. So you're seeing the person that you're dealing with, you see them as the Six of Cups. You see them as spending too much time thinking about how the relationship used to be. Yep. They have happy memories. You see them as having happy memories about how the connection once was. And you see them as needing to refocus this connection towards the future. You also see them as needing to try new things. You want them to try new things with this connection and not be so stuck on the past. And being that it's paired with this Two of Wands, with the Two of Wands, it's about balance. It's about if you're in a relationship, it's about to get more equal. Uh, you two will have to pay attention to your ideas about equality and balance them out, share them. And if you're single, Taurus, and you're, you get this Two of Wands in your reading, if you're looking for love or a relationship, someone who could be very good for you is already a part of your life, and you probably don't even know it. They're in your circle. Um, but you haven't acknowledged it yet, or you just don't know it. Just remember, don't judge a book by its cover. If someone is interested in you at this time, give them a chance. The relationship could be just what you're looking for. That's for single tours. But this um, Six of Cups and this Two of Wands, that's how the person that you're dealing with in this connection, that's how they see you. They see you as um, happy memories. It, um, you could be also someone that they're um, sticking with out of familiarity. Yeah, because um, you're holding on to things from the past, but you're trying to get them to step into the future. And because it's with this Two of Wands, um, you see them as they're planning to make these changes that you want. They're, they're planning to, you see them as trying to balance out this connection and bring it into the future. Well, for some reason, they're having a hard time, I guess, because when you guys first started dating, it was just so exciting and so much fun um, that they're, they're kind of stuck on that, and they're, they're having a hard time of um, 
balancing it towards the future. But you see them as trying to do that, trying to make this connection more of what it should be of now and not the past. And that's what the Two of Wands is saying. So that's how you see the person that you're dealing with in this connection. Now let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the King of Wands paired with the King of Cups. Now the King of Wands um, is a very positive card in the tarot. If it's not representing an actual man in your life or a person in your life, it signifies that men around you, they're very supportive of you and they think really well of you. And uh, you'll be feeling really ambitious and goal-oriented. And you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind at this time. So you just need to think positive. When this King of Wands is talking about relationships and love, it signifies that someone you care about, they have really fr protective and caring feelings about you. And that they're willing to work hard, if necessary, to make the relationship work. You may be more than usually focused on your work or career at this time, but you need to make time for romance even if you're single or you could end up with work being the only thing in your life. So that explains the King of Wands and it explains why this is all happening. It's all happening because uh, someone in this connection or maybe the both of you, uh, but I'm picking up that it's one more than the other who is very supportive of, of this connection and uh, someone thinks very very highly of the other person. Someone is really, really seeing the other person in a really great way, in a bright light. Um, so it's keeping this connection together. And someone is really working hard um, to do what it takes to make the relationship work because they know that um, if they just focus on work or career that the relationship will probably go down the drain so someone is really putting in a lot of effort in the connection so it's happening because of that and also it's happening because it's king of cups now with regards to love and you get the king of cups it's very good news. Very, very, very good news. There are a few more cards that are more loving than the King of Cups in the Tarot. But if you're looking for love and you're single, this can indicate that someone who's very balanced and loving is coming in. They're headed your way. Um, this King of Cups, it, it's, it boosts really well uh, when it comes to love it's it's um it's about balanced male and feminine energy who holds very positive qualities um it's about a loving and very kind man so there's a lot of love and compassion and kindness in this connection and uh, a lot of support. Someone could be more supportive than the other, but uh, uh, the two of you probably think very well of each other. With this King of Wands and the King of Cups, um, you're very s supportive, or both of you are really supportive and compassion, compassionate and kind to each other. So there's really nothing, nothing really bad in this reading, except for someone's feeling left out in the cold about something. Uh, could, maybe it's not dealing with the relationship, because I feel I'm picking up a lot of love and support in this connection. 
Um, like I said, the only thing I see is someone's feeling left out in the cold and sad about something, and then you have um, one person trying to bring the other person out of the past or how it used to be. So that's the only two things that I, I, um, I'm picking up on that um, of this connection that just needs work. But that's about it. Other than that, there's a lot of love there and support. So, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a lengthy law of the, of the extended, of the extended, and I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I just want to say I hope that you're enjoying 2020. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified. When I post my next reading, I am wishing you a very, very happy February. And once again, thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. Yeah. 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 Yeah.